Is this uh, so? Uh, they uh, think that uh, they could trigger the Federal Reserve to start the normalization of its monetary policy already in September. Uh, however, considering all the positive expectations, it will be the safe bet that any unfavorable surprise uh, uh, could cause very rattled sentiment on the market. Uh, so today I will cover a negative surprise trading strategy, and uh, for that case I have uh, chosen, uh, uh, yes. Uh, the euro dollar pair. So, but at the beginning, let's take a look uh, uh, for the premises so that uh, the data from the US due to today can came out worse than expected. So, first of all, worries about China economy, a rolling global confidence, and raising concerns over the US economic growth perspective. But today, the People Bank of China devalued uh, its national currency, the yuan, against the US dollar for the third consecutive day. Uh, trying to support, uh, to defend exports and support slowing economy. Uh, so turmoil in the second largest economy is definitely among the potential reasons for the possible delay in the start of uh, rate, hiking, rate hiking in the U.S., especially if it will be reinforced by weak sales and labor data. So let's move to the U.S. retail sales. So today, monthly update on the consumer spending for July will be main event for judging the current state of the U.S. economy. Uh, while economists expect data from show uh, data to show retail sales rising a healthy 0.7 percent in July, after a dismal uh, uh, 0.3 drop in June, some of the recent updates on retail sales have painted uh, quite a wobbly picture. Uh, for example, the U.S. economic uh, economic confidence index declined for the last week, leaving the benchmark near its lowest uh, reading since, since late uh, 2014. So that could be one of the signs that retail sales will be weaker than expected. Uh, okay, now let's turn back to a Eurodoll pair. Uh, I will, uh, as I said, cover negative surprise trading strategy. So we can see that uh, market uh, <coughs> sentiment is uh, more or less neutral, maybe a little bit uh, more bullish on that, also oh, bearish on that pair, 50.37%. Uh, uh, so if we speak about orders, uh, uh, US dollar is sold in 44.44% uh, <coughs> of all cases but euro is bought in 47.17% of all cases. Uh, and 67.21% uh, of pending quarters uh, in 50p range uh, to buy. And uh, <coughs> also there are 57.49% of pending quarters in uh, 100p range to buy. So if you look uh, another market sentiment provided by the, um, another market participants uh, on on the show the 66.06% uh, for bearish market sense for bearish sentiment tax group uh, point out 70.95% uh, for also bearish sentiment and uh, daily effects uh, show that 58% was bearish, correct. So uh, here you can see the reaction a table for uh, how the pay reacted for the data release in uh, five previous data releases. So we can see that for the uh, year result pair, the average market reaction uh, was uh, exactly 50 pips. So now let's turn to the <coughs> Uh, graph showing so you can see how the pair is trading right now. Uh, so yeah, okay, I'll be quick. Uh, <clears throat> just show you some uh, first support and resistance zone support. Uh, this first support zone is located uh, near far four hour S1 and S4 uh, and weekly uh, R2. Uh, so if the uh, pair will fall, uh, the support zone uh, could stop uh, <coughs> the losses 
near there. So we just can see that the stop loss is allocated at uh, uh, one uh, one point ten sixty one. So if to if to talk about uh, <coughs> resistance uh, zone number one, we can see that uh, I put it. Uh, uh, <clears throat> at the 1.1135, so uh, near the <clears throat> four hour R1 and R2. Uh, so, okay, just uh, for then to uh, uh, show you the take profit level, it's located at uh, 1.1167 uh, near. I'm unfortunately we have to proceed already with the with this with the third part of the of the okay. uh, data release of the technical part. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we still have to discuss the positive surprise trading strategy, which is still is the core strategy for today. So we have just some um, three and a half minutes to go. So I'll try to be as fast as possible to discuss the strategy. So as you can see, we have the uh, U.S. dollar Japanese yen currency pair for the purpose of discussion today. And the pair is expected uh, to rise in case the data is released really more positive, uh, more uh, more positive than expected, and the data is released better than forecasted. Uh, so the average forecast stays at 0.4 percent, as Kate has already said, as you know. And we also have really some positive expectations from different banks. For instance, Societe Generale expects in an increasing core retail sales of 0.9 percent today. Uh, so uh, I will not pay a lot of attention to the market sentiment. I will just mention that it is broadly bullish on the U.S. dollar at the moment uh, for this currency pair, uh, even though pending orders are at the moment uh, negative towards the U.S. dollar. So meaning that in the future the pair, the pair st still may fall in, uh, in value according to traders. Uh, so, speaking about the strategy itself, as you can see, the pair is trading at 124.48 uh, uh, level, and of course, it's usually to project the possible market reaction after the data is published in around two minutes from now. Uh, we can have a look at the previous market reactions for the same currency pair, which we are discussing at the moment, and the average reaction used to be 34 uh, pips, so quite a strong, decent market reaction. Uh, and of course, uh, therefore, uh, the first take profit level, we would put uh, just some uh, 10 pips above the current market price. So conservative scenario, and it will, uh, it will uh, be true in case the data is released broadly in line with expectations and there are no major surprises from the data. However, if we see numbers much higher than expected, then we can see the pair rising in accordance with, the, with this average uh, reaction of the last five months up to the second safe profit level, which is placed above the second resistance zone at 124.75 or some 25 pips above the current market price. Uh, at the same time, the data may also disappoint, and in case the numbers are published worse than expected, we can see the pair falling below the first support zone, which is represented by the daily and weekly pivot points, but actually very important supports for the pair at the moment. So, and they are, and they are uh, below 124.40, so the pair will most likely decline below these levels in case the data is really worse than expected. Uh, so, I think we just have 30 seconds to go till the data is, is published in the chat section, and we will see the numbers. I will shortly cover the technical indicators, which actually don't show any uh, particular signals at the moment, so they are mostly mixed on this current pair on the time frame for this current data release. Uh, so I guess we have some 15 seconds to go till the data is, uh, is announced, so let's just wait for the numbers and see what the initial market reaction on the uh, dollar yen currency pair is. Uh, so yes, we have already the numbers. Actually, they were published uh, a bit uh, uh, earlier than it was expected. We also have the U.S. jobless claims uh, pa in parallel. So uh, the core retail sales actually grew in line with expectations by 0.4 percent in July, uh, after a 0.1 percent decrease in June, 
And uh, actually, the same goes for the uh, headline reading, which, uh, which showed the same uh, number as it was expected. So probably this is this rare case when the data was actually published uh, in line with the expectations. Uh, oh yes, we have some uh, some additional news that uh, the prior uh, number for the core retail sales uh, for June was revised upwards to 0.4% from the decrease of 0.1%, so really positive surprise. Uh, and concerning the initial jobless claims, so basically no broad move movement there, just a slight increase to uh, 274,000. Uh, for the week ended uh, August the 7th. Uh, and of course, uh, as the, the numbers were published in line with expectations, as I have mentioned, uh, there was no broad reaction uh, for the, uh, the dollar-yen currency pair, but still the take profit level 1 was reached, and the initial reaction was ranging from 8 to 14 pips. Uh, so much smaller reaction than the, uh, the previous reactions for the past five uh, months, but it's also worth mentioning that uh, there was still no surprise from the numbers uh, this month, and they are definitely positive for the U.S., and especially as we have the positive revision for June, uh, it, is, it will be definitely interesting to see uh, what the Fed is going to think about, about that, and uh, we will, of course, I'll watch uh, the September rate decision. Uh, probably uh, these numbers on the retail sales will have some influence on that. Uh, so I guess that for now it will be all from my side as well on the, on the positive surprise trading strategy. So thank you very much for your attention. And I give the floor back to Kate just to wrap this uh, news release up. Yeah, thank you guys. This is it from our side. Thank you, team. Thanks everybody for watching. And uh, I give the floor back to Doc and Jignash. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out the numbers. So it's 4,000 more than they were expecting. After last Friday, I don't know anymore. I've given up. <laughs>